Hello. Um, in the last two days, I think, uh, Russian media has very briefly discussed the scandal at the Olympics and uh, the programme 60 Minutes. In fact, has rebroadcast uh, those scenes from 60 Minutes where Alexei uh, Zuravlyov mouthed off about Tom Daly and he actually used a terribly rude Russian word. I'm not sure I should repeat it, but it's um, moras, uh, which maybe we could translate very uh, discreetly as scum, but maybe it's a sort of scum that you might flush down the loo after you've finished. Um, so, um, the, uh, one of the things in the sort of prelude to uh, showing us these scenes again by Alexei and by Anatoly Kuzichov, who was, who was a presenter on his programme, uh, Vremia uh, Pokazhet, um, where he calls the transgender weightlifter, um, he, 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 actually called, he actually called her a psychopath, which is really quite strong and unacceptable language, I think. Um, anyway, it was asking, were the comments fair? Um, and uh, what was interesting was replaying it and listening to it again, I realised that uh, Alexei Zoravlyov goes much further. Um, and uh, he says that, um, uh, that uh, the, in the EU, this is quite extraordinary, he says, in the EU, uh, people love Russia even more because they see more hope for the future than in their own country. And then he goes on to describe Tom Daly as scum. Um, and he says, we stand against this abomination. Uh, the presenter of, of, of the programme that was reviewing this started off by saying that um, Russia probably has a bigger LGBTQ population than most European countries. It's a bigger country. Um, and as long as people keep quiet, it's okay. He, he, there was no discussion about the new law which says that it is a criminal offence to promote any sort of non-traditional um, values uh, to people under the age of 18. Now, the much more worrying part of this programme, and, and, and the reason I'm talking to you, is that um, they brought on a fellow who is the president of the Russian LGBTQ um, group. And he's a man called Alexei Gorshko. Uh, Gorshko, I, I, I think, is a Russian word which means bird. Um, and he comes out with five points. And what was so extraordinary is how is how fair and how relaxed he seemed about the whole thing. He said, well, it's not surprising, it's common, that's point one. Point two, um, hate is routine. Uh, yeah. Now, point three, he says, it's propaganda, it's not journalism. Look at how cynical uh, is the presentation. Look at the uh, satire in wearing a wig and so on. Then he goes on and he says that the Olympic Committee... Um, has no authority and will not get an apology from Russia or from uh, the, these television channels. And the government, he says, is not interested in extracting an apology, especially as the committee had expelled Russia from um, formally participating in the Olympics. His fourth point, he says that um, gay people are seen as the scapegoat for Russia's failure. And what, what's interesting is most channels uh, in Russia during the uh, Olympic period didn't even screen any Olympic coverage for the first time in years. Um, and and there, was, um, there was one particular day where clearly domestic parades were more important to be screened on the TV uh, than anything of, um, of the Olympics. And that was a day, oddly, when Russian athletes won more Olympic medals than any other day but it wasn't screened. And point five, he says, it's an old problem. Um, he says, the, um, the, the Olympian movement um, has, been, uh, ha has been dominated by the West. It's the Western, com it's the Western countries that sponsor uh, the Olympics. 
Um, and, and hey, you know, all this, all this propaganda, all, this, um, all these comments were being made in 2014, and yet the Olympic Committee did nothing then. So he concludes by saying, uh, this is an old problem, and it simply betrays conservative thinking. And I was quite astonished how relaxed he was about this issue. I don't think this is going to um, th 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 this is going to make it's certainly not going to make headlines in Russia in any way. Not like it's making headlines over here. Anyway, look, please. Uh, I I'd love to know what you think about um, this scandal. And um, Bay, I'm sure, is extremely interested to contribute. Um, and uh, please leave your comments below and please subscribe and ring the bell. The bell is over here, I think. Bay's gone off to get some more food. Have fun.